Hi, I'm Dudley Flanders. I'm president of Lloyd Flanders. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our company, our products, and our people. At Lloyd Flanders, we are proud to carry on the traditions of Marshall B. Lloyd, who developed our timeless and unique process for creating fine wicker furniture. Our dedication to Lloyd Loom Furniture has earned us the reputation of creating heirloom furnishings enjoyed by many generations. When the Flanders family purchased the company over a quarter century ago, we set out to create a durable line of outdoor wicker that would be visually pleasing and practical for both indoor and outdoor use. Since that time, Lloyd Flanders has become the most trusted and sought after wicker furniture today. At the Lloyd Flanders production facility in Menominee, Michigan, many processes, both modern and traditional, come together to create our award-winning all-weather furniture. First, aluminum tubing must have its end spun or rounded as you can see here. This is done by one of two machines that either spin one end at a time or both together. These machines were developed entirely in-house to allow us to increase productivity through automation. Next, the aluminum tubes are shaped by one or more bending machines, giving them their necessary form to become one part of the piece of the furniture's frame. The tubing is then brought to the welding unit and each of its frame parts are fit by hand onto the weld fixture. These fixtures ensure consistency from one chair or table to the next. These fixtures can be rotated on gimbals, giving them easier access to the welder and allowing many of the welds to be hidden. To ensure proper paint adhesion, each frame is then washed before being carried by the conveyor to their next stop. Elsewhere in the factory, wicker is being produced. We start with large rolls of paper developed specifically for our needs. After slitting to the proper width, the paper is loaded onto a machine and drawn through a glue mixture before spinning it into cord and winding it onto the spools. The cord is then rewound from the small spools to these large ones that then will be used by the loom itself. Each roll is loaded onto a number of racks that feed each loom. The loom draws cord from every roll simultaneously to weave the wicker fabric. The horizontal pieces of fabric, called stakes, are made sturdier by the addition of internal aluminum wire. Here they are being fed by the stake feeder into the loom to be interwoven with the regular paper cord. Here the Ewer loom, which uses a different process of weaving than the Lloyd loom, weaves a stout paper stake fabric to be used as tabletops. The loom fabric is then sealed completely by submerging it in a latex bath, ensuring it withstands the elements of the outdoors. The loom fabric is then dried before it goes on the large spools and then can be transported to the cutting room. These rolls are now fed into the computer-controlled Gerber cutter. This achieves much more speed and maximizes the use of each roll of fabric, reducing waste. Here a cut piece of wicker fabric is being applied with a metal edging using a press. This is one of the methods used to attach the wicker to the frames and where possible saves time. Everything finally comes together in the wicker assembly area. The clean aluminum frames and the cut wicker fabric are fitted onto the assembly fixture. These, like the welding fixtures, 
allow greater accuracy and ease of assembly. The wicker is now stretched over the aluminum frame and edges and stapled with stainless steel staples developed exclusively for our product. After being stapled into place, the remaining fabric edges are trimmed first by air shears, then by hand. The last assembly step is the application of the braid. A trim of braided cord, as well as the welt cord, are stapled into place around the edge of the frame. Each section is carefully fitted into place by hand, making adjustments to the braid as needed to give it its final form. The furniture is now fully assembled and taken to the paint shop. Here it will receive two coats of the latest technology and environmentally friendly finishing material. Lloyd Flanders finishes feature a high solid polyester resin based paint, Durium, which provides a flexible yet durable finish. Once applied, the finish must be cured for 20 minutes at 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Much of the beauty of Lloyd Flanders comes from its special paint treatment. Immediately after the final colored coat of paint is applied, it can then be wiped by hand to give the furniture its unique antique look. Originally designed with all wicker seats, Lloyd Flanders has evolved its outdoor product by incorporating a drop-in seat constructed with Cytex 3 decking. This decking improves comfort and durability for outdoor use. The final area of production is the creation of the cushions. Patterned fabrics are prepared by first being cut, then sewn into cushion covers of various shapes and sizes. The cushions are now stuffed with a durable yet comfortable combination of pure polyester fiber, high resilience foam, and a water resistant wrap. We refer to this cushion system as Comfort Plush. Some cushions are additionally decorated with buttons on our buttoning machine. At last, the assembled furniture and its cushions are brought together and the furniture is complete. Each of our trend-setting collections offered in the original Lloyd Loom or hand-woven custom vinyl are individually handcrafted to offer comfort, warmth, style, and years of enjoyment. Lastly, we would like to thank our customers for the rare and distinguished opportunity of celebrating 100 years of manufacturing.